Hello guys and welcome back to Comment and it's time for another episode in code optimization and we're going to talk today about formula instead of a loop. Um, this isn't necessarily only a formula instead of a loop but just in general things that you can do easier. Um, this sounds very big but let's just talk about it within a second. Before we're going to start I first want to say about micro optimization. A lot of people say that we are going to talk about micro optimization that's all we do in the series. That's not entirely true. Indeed, all the examples I show are uh, micro-optimization, but in the end, if you're going to put it within your own code and you're going to use it, it can be a little bit more. It can, uh, you can optimize it for a few frames. And this is something, again, for a bit more experienced uh, programmer and not for the fair, if you just program for a week. But let's start. We're going to first going to watch the actual formula instead of a loop. And that's what's happening here. We got a for loop on the left uh, side and a formula on the right side. And of course, the right side is easier for the, uh, is better optimized because it's only one line. Um, this is something that you can discuss in this very simple case um, because it will, well, you can't optimize, this isn't well optimized um, for like, it's going, not going to make a big difference, but this is in the end, the whole idea of this. Um, you can just, put this is, um, you can just take this in this formula and it is a lot better. Um, it's a lot simpler. It is, um, you can understand it better, which is also a good thing. But it's also just that the program only have to do one comment and not six comments, um, or actually two with this one, but this for loop, it has to repeat itself and repeat itself and repeat itself. Well, this is just one simple line. Formulas are most times better than a for loop. Uh, not always, so, you know, don't put everything, but in general, um, I will say a formula. But this is something you won't really see a lot of times. You won't do this. But this is like the uh, thing we're going on further because this is the same what happens when some people trying to code something that already has been done by the program itself. This is something that's went right. This is something, by the way, from the scripting reference. Some people, um, uh, when they're trying to put a decree towards a radian, um, they don't do it with the math.radian to decree, but make their own function and use it and do all a bunch of uh, complex calculations. What's well, already been done within the system. Um, there are two things that are really uh, stupid about it, if you're going to do that. That's because uh, you need to program something that's already has been done. So it's your whole script is going to be way more complex. Well, it doesn't need to be. So it's harder to understand for you when you are getting back to it. And also probably you can't optimize it as well as the people who originally created like the whole scripting uh, or their whole programming language. Um, so that's why you need to do it. That's again, a Example, I saw a few times, but you don't need to do that. Uh, this is not something that has been used many times before. What is happening is that a lot of people don't know that this exists. Matf.apps, and this again, an example. Um, in the end, it just goes about that you need to Google something before you're actually going to implement it within your own uh, scripts. Um, some people have a number, minus 10, then they do an if loop, so it's just a variable, and now it's minus 10, and just do an if loop. If it is less than zero, then they multiply it by minus one, so it will be uh, positive again. But there is already something within the code, within the scripting. So you don't need to do it with your own. And if, lo if loop, again, is, well, more complex and, well, not as good optimized as just using this uh, this thing. So this is something that, again, an example, um, there are a lot harder calculations. Some people think they have to rewrite the whole Rayleigh system, for example, of the whole physics system. You can do that. That's fine. But just think about it. It already exists. So why would you do it? Um, I will just say, that you just need to Google it before you're going to use it. That's in the end all uh, what 
this whole video is about currently this whole episode so let me just uh, quickly go over everything again you have a formula or you have a for loop or you have already made a program just recheck if you can do it simpler that's actually the whole idea of this episode and i hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like or subscribe and I'll see you guys next saturday with a new uh, way to optimize your scripts bye